in this video we're going to have a look at two properties of triangles. Before we get started, I'm going to show you different notations that can be used in geometry. If we want to say that we are looking at angle A, we can write angle A, or we can indicate the angle with a copy on top, or we can describe how the angle is formed. In this case, from D to A to B. At point B, we have two different angles, and that is why they are numbered 1 and 2. When you want to talk about a specific angle at B, it is however important not to just say angle 1, but specifically angle B1 or B2. Or again, you can choose to describe how the angle is formed. In this case, that is from point A to point B to point D, or even other way around, D, B, A. The three interior angles of a triangle have an interesting property. When you put them all together, they will form a perfect straight line. And a straight line like this will always be 180 degrees. This means that we can make the conclusion that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle will always be equal to 180 degrees. In our example's case, we can say that angle A plus angle B plus angle C will be equal to 180 degrees. Next, we're going to have a look at the exterior angle of a triangle. An exterior angle is formed when one of the sides of the triangle is lengthened. It is not just any random line added to a point. So here we have the exterior angle of the triangle at point C. Such an angle can also be formed at point B by extending one of the lines of that triangle. And the same can happen at point A, forming two other exterior angles. Earlier, we took angle A and angle B and we put them together at point C. If you have a closer look at this, you will see that the exterior angle of our triangle can be formed by putting together angle B and angle A. So we can say that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So in our examples case, angle DCB, the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of angle A and angle B. Let's go and have a look at some examples. Number one, calculate the size of angle A. Here we have a triangle where two of the angles are given. We know that in a triangle, angle A plus angle B plus angle C should add up to 180 degrees. We were given that angle B is 32 degrees and angle C 85 degrees. And this means that angle A can be determined by taking the 180 and subtracting 32 as well as 85. So angle A in the end is 63 degrees. In geometry it is important to always supply a reason for what you are doing. So you need to tell us which property or theorem you are using. In the line where I said the three angles add up to 180, I need to now say that I used the interior angles of a triangle. In example 2, we need to calculate the size of angle K2. This is the exterior angle of the triangle that is formed when side HK is lengthened. The exterior angle of a triangle is always the same size as the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So here we know that K2 is equal to angle H plus angle J. And remember to then add the reason for this. And here we used exterior angles of a triangle. We now know that angle H is 42 degrees and J 65 degrees. So K2 will have a size of 
and 7 degrees. In example 3, we now need to calculate the size of angle E inside the triangle. We are given one of the angles on the inside of the triangle, as well as the exterior angle of this triangle that is formed when side GE is lengthened. In this case, we know that the exterior angle, angle DGF, is the same size as the sum of the two opposite interior angles, angle F and angle E. And again, I need to supply a reason, which will be the exterior angle of a triangle. We were given that the exterior angle is 65 degrees and F 31. So now I can solve angle E. To do this, I'm going to take the 65 and subtract 31 from it, which means that angle E will have a size of 34 degrees. In the next video, we're going to combine these properties with the different types of triangles as well as some algebra.